So Mikko, we're back in Yotsa. What are we gonna do today? Well, today we're gonna learn how to drive a four-wheel driven car and how to take it through the corner really nicely and smoothly. So how do you do it then? Uh, <clears throat> of course, it's a bit of a combination of both front-wheel driven car and a rear-wheel driven car as well. So obviously now all the four wheels are uh, are pulling. So you can, we can use the front when we go into the corner with the steering wheel and you are already on throttle and the front wheels are pulling you inside the corner with the steering you make the angle perfect. But now the rear is pushing as well. So with that one you can then adjust the slide angle a little bit and, and with this one you can use the left foot brake a little bit as well. But it's a bit of a combination of both and you try to take it through the corner as smoothly in a neutral angle sliding a little bit but you don't have to correct it straight away with forward four-wheel drive car. You let the front to pull the car in the right direction. Sounds very complicated, but let's see if we can do it. So let's jump in the car. Yeah, it's going to work perfectly. Now we have a four-wheel drive car. So how's this going to th go through the corner then? It, it's going to be a little bit combination, of course, from front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive. And uh, depending on the grip level and uh, also a little bit the setup of the diffs you have in a four-wheel drive. If it doesn't turn so well into the corner, you can do a small Scandinavian flick or, or in a tight corner like we have a little handbag turn. But then we can just go brake straight, we start turning when the weight is in the front, then slowly we go on throttle and then we can do a left foot brake with a little bit this one as well. And then when you feel that it's turning, you go full on throttle and just turn. Sounds simple, but I think it's a bit more complicated than that. Let's see one, uh, one example from you. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit. Or fourth gear. Go down to second gear. Now you see the weight transfer and it turns. We wait a little bit and then it slides in the exit. So we went nicely with the one slide through the corner. And in the beginning you can feel the weight transfer on braking. That's the momentum you always need for turning. And then in the mid corner you have to wait a little bit, otherwise it starts to understeer. Okay. So now we probably have the most difficult car to drive, four-wheel drive car. Well, let's see. You know, it uh, sounds complicated, but there's a couple of kind of things when you realize not to fix the slide too early. You just trust that the front is going to keep the car well in balance in the neutral slide. You're going to do fine. So just brake straight, and when you have the weight transfer in the front wheels, then you turn, make the turn, and then the weight transfer and starts to turn nicely. So rest is going to be history. Well, let's see. <laughs> Wish me luck now. You'll be fine. Yeah, put a little bit. Here we go. Off gear. Throttle. Up. Perfect. <laughs> I'll see how you got it in. The drifting king. That was more luck than uh, real skill, I have to admit. But it's excellent fun. But finally, you saw that it's not so complicated, even if there is maybe more elements. But it's. Uh, Sliding nicely around the corner. It was really good performance. I liked it. It's it's good fun. Let's try it once more if we can go a little bit quicker. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, skier. You can see already here. Now you are just uh, showing off a little bit. I'm starting to enjoy it. This oh, is good fun. Excellent. It was good. It was good. Like now, now you saw when you went a little bit faster into the corner, you went a little bit wide and yeah. you had a massive slide. It's, it's maybe not the fastest way, but that's a good way for you to understand the technique and control of all-wheel drive. So it was really good. And it's spectacular, so I enjoy it. Thank of you very course, much. That's the most important thing. <laughs> four-wheel drive car, that was great fun. And you did really well, I have to say. And something maybe happened inside your head, like we've been driving it so many different kind of cars now that suddenly now you realized the thing for four-wheel drive car, how you have to drive around the corner and keep it in a nice good slide and you were not afraid of the sliding or you didn't correct it in the middle of the corner because that's the biggest mistake that people do so uh, you did really well. I guess it shows that even an old dog can learn a trick or two but it's still not an easy car to drive if you have to go fast. No I mean for sure everything starts to be more difficult when you have to fight for the last seconds or tenth of the seconds and in four-wheel drive cars there's differences in uh, front and rear diff as well which can uh, make the driving a little bit different. But like I said, the biggest thing the people are doing is that when the four-wheel drive car slides, they correct it straight away and then the front pulls it out of the line and that's the big mistake. So uh, you got it now. You did it really well, so it was really perfect performance. Thank you very much for your help, Mikko. Thank you.